Hey guys, Vix Media Girl here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this gorgeous resin bowl. So I got these molds from Amazon and they're about four inches wide by two inches high and they have a really gorgeous rose pattern on the inside. So to start off with this technique, I flipped the mold inside out, which was actually surprisingly easy. And then I am using some TLP, this little piggy, um, one of their stuck up piggies, which is basically a chameleon powder. It changes colors um, or like a color shift powder. This one's hoity toity. And then I took a paintbrush and I brushed that power powder on my design. Now, I wasn't sure initially if I was going to just do the roses, um, but that's what I started with. You don't need a lot of powder for this. I actually went a little too heavy on that first one and you can see some kind of falling off on the table, but then I kept going back to it and spreading it around. Um, and I figured I would kind of just see how it looked after this and if I wanted to add more. So after I'd done the roses, I decided I wanted to also add some on the bottom and then kind of blend that out a little bit so that there was um, a little bit of color in between the roses and in between the bottom and the roses. Once I was pretty happy with my design, I flipped it back the correct way and then I poured my resin into the mold. I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin and I did preheat it for this because I'm pouring a little deeper than normal. So I put my bottles in front of a space heater for about 15 minutes before mixing. It doesn't take a lot. I believe this mold took about four ounces, but I poured very slowly because you can kind of see it slowly filling up there. And once it was mostly filled, I let the air bubbles kind of pop out. You'll, you'll see them come up from inside the mold. And then I also used my heat gun a little bit to help with those and to just, you know, help make it a little more fluid. And then I took a little bit more resin and made sure that it was filled up all the way. Uh, you just want to go slowly on this. You don't want to overfill your mold, but you don't want to underfill it either. Give it time to settle and um, come down into the mold. Once it was cured, I demolded it. Now this is by far the most difficult part. It is not easy, but once you get it, it is fairly simple. So you essentially have to break that kind of seal and then fold it over and flip it inside out again. It's not easy, I'm not gonna lie, but gorgeous, gorgeous results. So I am super happy with this. I cannot wait to use this mold more, play around with the design, and I'm very happy with this TLP powder pigment. It is gorgeous, we'll be using that more. Hope you guys enjoyed this, see you next time.